Mina, konbanwa, Jesus Freaking Gamer here. Are you ready for a little Greek lesson? Neither am I. Okay, since I didn't know how to help you guys out the other day with the whole filling of the spirit thing, I decided to look it all up. So I've got my strongest concordance and a giant Greek King James study Bible here. I'm not going to bother to lift them up for you because they're pretty enormous. And again, now since I'm giving you specific numbers from the Strong's Concordance, you should be able to look this stuff up. This should be a helpful hand to you. I forgot to set the timer because I know I'm going to go long on this. So I'm going to go ahead and say I was like, that was like 30 seconds ish or so. We're going to plunge in. Okay, so start off with Acts chapter 2, verse 4. This is King James English, so it's going to sound a little bit weird. And I'm going to be like leaning down on my bed to like read these words to you. This is really weird, so just bear with me for this video. Acts 2, 4, And they were all filled with the Holy Ghost and began to speak with other tongues as the Spirit gave them utterance. So that is Acts 2, 4. So, la 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 la. That's going to be 4130. The number is 4130 for Strong's Concordance. And the anglicized or English letter form of that Greek word is P L. E T H O. Um, Plato is what it looks like to be approximately pronounced as. And then if you go over to Ephesians 5.18, let me just read this out. Oh, I turned right to it. That was awesome. 5.18 in the King James, and be not drunk with wine wherein is excess, but be filled with the Spirit. That actually it's a different word in the Greek. It's not the exact same word like I said yesterday, but it is the exact kind of words, kind of like, um, I, I don't know a ton of Greek, so I may be making this up. I think, this, like I said, in Ephesians 5.18, there's this idea of continuously. It's some kind of tense that it's in in the Greek. So the idea is continuous, and perhaps the different spelling is because of a different tense, kind of like um, our words for like, um, like filled past tense, filled present tense, will fill, Future tense. That's how we do tenses in the English. And there are there are a lot more tenses in the Greek. But anyway, Ephesians 5:18, that is going to be 4137 in the Greek, and that is spelled P-L-E-R-O-O. -O. Again, that's the anglicized or English letter form of the Greek. P-L-E-R-O-O. Pleuro, pleuroe, something like that. I'm not sure quite how to pronounce that one. But it's the same kind of word as 4130, Plato. Plato, Plato, something to that effect. Any, anyone who knows Greek and is looking at this video is probably just like double and triple face palming. I don't know how they triple face palming, but they probably found a way for this video. Hopefully I'm not incredibly far off, but there are the numbers and the spellings for those of you who are so inclined to study. And I thought it was important to throw this in because I wanted to make a point that the word was the same as far as... What happened in Acts and what we are commanded to continuously do. Guru's going to have to be your friend here, guys. I'm asking you to put in some study. That's one thing I want this channel to do anyway, checking the time. I want this channel to be a tool, a motivation for you to press forward in your biblical studies. Something, and even if you're not a Christian, to maybe look into this stuff and see... Maybe the Bible makes sense. Maybe the Bible's not completely and totally crazy. Even though I'm talking about speaking in tongues and miracles and healings and the supernatural, I'm not crazy. I am normal and stuff. So, that didn't help my case at all. <coughs> so, this is something that happened in the early church. And it's something, unless you believe this commandment in Ephesians doesn't apply to us today, it's something... It's essentially the same Greek word. It's just a different tense. It is something we are commanded to do continuously today, to be filled with the Spirit. And every time you see someone filled with the Spirit outside of an epistle, all the letters of Paul and James and Peter and John, etc. So basically, the only book we have historically in the New Testament is the book of Acts. Whenever you see someone filled with the Spirit there, something dramatic happens. It is more likely than not tongues, one time it is unspecified, and another time it is tongues and prophecy. So it's not just one thing that happened, although it is predominantly one thing that happened. Still checking the time. I'm going to, I'm, we're going to keep delving into this as the week progresses, and I'm going to take as much time on this as I need. This will probably flow into the Sunday message because I really feel this is important. 
for particularly my country, America. I believe that this can be applied worldwide, but for the sake of the survival of this nation and for the sake of Christianity surviving and thriving, we all need to be filled with the Spirit. And my time has been up. Thank you for watching this video. I love you guys. God bless.